Hey everybody, today we are going to break down what exactly is frozen shoulder. Uh, what are the stages of frozen shoulder? What can you do at each stage of frozen shoulder to safely move forward in your recovery? So, frozen shoulder is also known as adhesive capsulitis, causing pain and mobility issues, as you probably already know. <laughs> it begins gradually and worsens over time. Um, it can take between one to three years to get better. Obviously, that really depends on how much effort you put in on your own and with a, uh, your doctor and a physical therapist, okay? So, I mean, to think this is not going to go away for three years depends on the severity, of course. It uh, depends on the underlying issue. Now, frozen shoulder is more likely to occur in people who are recovering from a medical condition that prevents them from moving their arm, such as rotator cuff injury, a broken arm, a stroke, uh, uh, recovering from surgery, um, and, and really the exact cause of frozen shoulder is not always known and it's still not really fully understood. So, however, there are factors that also increase your risk of developing it. Uh, diabetes, thyroid gland problems, previous stroke, as I mentioned before, a previous heart attack, and kind of prolonged immobilization of the shoulder after surgery. Now, frozen shoulder happens when the connective tissue in the shoulder, called the shoulder capsule, it thickens and becomes stiff and tight. Okay, also there's a combination of muscles and tendons that keeps your upper arm or the humerus centered in the shoulder socket. Now, these tissues are called the rotator cuff. Now, there are two joints in the shoulder. One is located where the collarbone meets the tip of the shoulder blade. This is called the AC joint. And the other joint is called the glenohumeral joint, uh, and it's located where the head of the upper arm or the humerus fits into the shoulder blade, okay? So stage one is the freezing stage. Uh, it's a slow onset of pain uh, that can last from six to like nine months. And as the pain worsens, the shoulder loses motion, okay? Then we're gonna get into stage two, which is the frozen stage. Uh, that's marked by a slow improvement in pain, uh, but the stiffness remains. And then the third stage is the thawing stage. Uh, shoulder motion slowly returns to normal over five to 26 month period. But <laughs> don't be freaked out by that because obviously that depends on how much work you put in with physical therapist and work you do on your own. Okay, so those are the three stages of frozen shoulder. So why don't we get into it? I'm gonna show you exercises and mobility and strengthening movements you can do for each stage. Okay, so for the first stage, the freezing stage, um, obviously ice should be used pretty immediately after you injured your arm or you feel that uh, pain or immobility because remember, uh, uh, the frozen shoulder doesn't always happen because of an injury. It could happen for all the other things we mentioned before. But So limit some of your daily activities. Try not to carry groceries with that arm. Children, um, really try to limit that because this is uh, it's very painful right now. Um, we only work on range of motion exercises and a little bit of, not necessarily strength, but a little stretch, okay? So we're gonna first start off with a foam roller. If you don't have a roller, we're actually gonna use a ball. You could use a basketball, but I will show you that in one second. So first exercise or ex mobility exercise would be foam roller, palms in. You could actually get this on Amazon as well. Probably 12, 15 bucks. Okay, shoulders down. We're gonna roll that up as far as you can before you feel any pain. Hopefully you can do it a little bit. What we're trying to do is release uh, the muscles around your shoulder blade. Um, you're gonna feel a little stretch in the shoulder. Now if it's your right arm, you could push a lot with your left and just guide the right up. Okay, we're gonna do about 10 times up as far as you can go before you start feeling a lot of pain. And what happens when you stretch that muscle right below your shoulder blades, um, it frees up your shoulder, okay? So strong and mobile roll, excuse me, shoulder blades can help support the structure of your shoulder. So if you don't have a foam roller, again, you can use a basketball or an inflatable ball. Um, we're gonna start rolling up slowly. You can use a basketball, like I said. Uh, again, this is for range of motion. So this would be in lieu of a foam roller, but we're also gonna do some circles. You're gonna feel that kind of maybe in your labrum in that socket, about 10 circles, one direction, 10 the other direction. Okay, again, try to disengage your upper traps, your neck, because that'll really inflame that shoulder. 
and a little side to side. So probably 10 up, okay? 10 side to side and 10 circles. Okay, so that's two right there. Uh, what you can also do is, if it, again, if it's your right arm, we're gonna use a dowel to help. Basically my left arm is going to raise my right arm. I'm gonna help, I'm gonna hold on, and go as far as I can with pain being at a minimal, just a little range of motion, okay? You can use a mop, a broom, if you have a dowel like this, that's great. Okay, again, no shrugging. We're gonna to try to use my left hand and just slightly raising, passively raising your right arm, if that's the shoulder with the frozen shoulder. Bring that up maybe about 10 times. Okay, you could repeat all these probably just twice, maybe about 10 repetitions. Uh, you're gonna do that, do that every day, okay? Um, and well, one of our stretching exercises is we're gonna take a towel, throw it over your left shoulder, if we're, if we're gonna stretch the right, so the right arm is my frozen shoulder side. Okay, shoulder down and back, good posture. We don't want the shoulder blade pinching forward. Okay, so as best you can, we're gonna use the left arm to slide the, passively slide your hand up your spine, get a nice stretch in the right shoulder and let it relax and then bring it up. Again, probably like 10 of those, 12 of those. All these should be done every day. Um, you know, you can increase the range of motion, uh, the maybe add another set three times through, but try to get this done every day. Okay, let's head into the second stage. Okay, so now either your PT or your doctor has said you're into the second stage of frozen shoulder, the frozen stage, okay? Uh, pain lessens, but you have more uh, uh, shoulder stiffness, okay? So we're still gonna work range of motion exercises. We're gonna add a strength exercise. Now you can do the ones, uh, you can always repeat the exercises we did for each stage. Also, it's a great warm up because you're building it to, uh, as you go into one, two, and three stages, you're gonna build a little more uh, range of motion, a little more challenging, a little more reps, a little more sets, and some resistance, okay? So warm up with the prior first stage frozen shoulder exercises as we get into uh, the freezing stage and then into the thawing stage. So uh, let's get into, this is something called a pendulum. You could lean on a, on a, on a chair, kitchen chair. Uh, this is a pendulum. You're gonna put two pounds. You could maybe increase it to three or five. If it's really tender, you're gonna actually just use your arm. So it's gonna be a free hang and you're not gonna hold your shoulder back. You're actually gonna let it drop. And you're actually not gonna move it with your arm. We kinda want you to move it with your body because you're really letting go of the shoulder and any muscles or rotator cuffs, you really want it to go on its own. Okay, you could do circles, probably about 10 circles, and then 10 circles the other way. Obviously, you're gonna help it a little bit, but the best, you can just let it dead hang. Uh, more benefit from that. Okay, again, nice range of motion. You could even do this on the first stage, um, but I like it going into the second stage, and you could add a little more resistance to a heavier dumbbell. That's about a two pound dumbbell. Okay, so now let's get into another exercise for the frozen stage. Okay, and for the second exercise for the uh, frozen stage, or the last exercise, because remember, you're also gonna do the ones from stage one to warm up. Um, we're going to use this pulley. This can be bought on Amazon cheap, nine, 12 bucks. Uh, this is great for range of motion and a little stretching. So again, it's my right arm that I have the uh, frozen shoulder. You're gonna put that pulley in a door jam behind you where, you know, whatever you can get it. Cause you, you need it, you need some height in order to get your range of motion up in here. Oh, that's good, okay. So the left one's doing all the work, passive right arm. Let's bring that up, high stretch. You could also bring it a little out and up. It feels really good. Uh, hopefully <laughs> with frozen shoulder, it feels pretty good too, but. I don't have frozen shoulder. So I feel a nice stretch. Again, the left is doing it. This arm is very passive, okay? And probably about 10, 12. Um, again, go back to some other exercises, doing two or three sets now in stage two of what you've learned already from stage one and stage two, okay? And that's a good stretch, range of motion. And what you can do also is you can actually use this for the behind the back stretch which then you would just take your hand, 
put it behind your back, hold that thread, and just choke up on it, use it as a little stretch. So you could replace the towel with this as well. I'm just doing it to show you, but you'd want to have your back to it. Okay, slide your hand up. You can even push this out. Find whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, and get a good, nice stretch on that. This will replace the towel that we did in stage one. Okay, guys, very nice. Again, that can be bought on Amazon and really cheap. You get a lot of use out of that. Okay, let's get into the exercises for the third stage, the thawing stage of frozen shoulder. Okay, and lastly, we are into the thawing stage, the third stage of frozen shoulder. Um, again, this could be anywhere between six months to a year, depending upon how much work you put in on your own and with a physical therapist. So it's really important to do this on a daily basis, okay? Um, you know, you can move your shoulder more in this stage. Uh, the pain does spike because of that increased mobility. So ice again, um, maybe some anti-inflammatories. Uh, so we are gonna work more range of motion and a little strength, okay? So we're going to use a little resistance band. It can be most likely yellow on this exercise because it's, it's a little difficult and it's a little challenging. Uh, what you wanna do is wrap it around any kind of pole, okay? And what you want, it's not about the shoulder press, okay? It's about keeping your shoulder blades down and back. We're gonna try to strengthen your lower trapezius muscles right down the middle of your shoulder blades, and that's gonna give your, your shoulder, uh, the shoulder socket, the shoulder joint, more strength and stability, okay? And also it's gonna flow correctly. It's not gonna be impinged or, or just at a bad angle because now you have a mobility in your shoulder blades and your shoulder. And we're going to press now to the ceiling, no neck. So we're gonna press, it's a very light press, so you're not really gonna feel it in your side deltoids, a little bit, but you're gonna feel it down the middle of your back, okay? Right through there. Show you, so again, your arms are slightly forward as they should be in any kind of press, okay? As you press up, no neck, right down the middle of your back. It's called a Y press, okay? You can actually do that you may have seen it on an exercise ball where you're laying on it and just bring your thumbs up or on an inclined bench, that's the same thing as a Y press. I kind of like using the band because you, you shrug less. I see a lot of people on the bench doing it, doing Ys and it's, uh, it's not good. <laughs> okay, and also in this stage, you can do external rotation for the shoulder. Again, that's your right shoulder. External rotation, you could just hold it with a band, hold the band with your left hand. Elbow in tight, so think of your upper arm, your humerus rotating in the socket. External rotation, okay? If you wanna do internal rotation, you would just tie it off on something. Okay. Right from here. And then you wanna go internal rotation, okay? Internal rotation, right through there. Okay. That's great, okay. We have one more pretty challenging exercise for strength in the thawing stage. I'm going to hit the floor and show you what that is. Okay, and the last strength training exercise and also stability exercise, super challenging. Uh, this is for the thawing stage, stage three of frozen shoulder. This is called the long plank with shoulder touch. So you could actually, if you want to first try long plank, so your feet are about just outside the width of your hips, your hands are right under your shoulders. This is actually called a long plank. You can hold that for start 15, 20, 30 seconds, okay? And as that becomes a little easier, you're going to do a shoulder touch. Yeah, without rocking. You're gonna get a little abs to boot in this. This is all about shoulder stabilization and core stabilization. Okay, no rounding of the back, like a long push-up position, okay? And again, this one would be around probably eight to 10 reps each side, maybe eight. It's very difficult. And you could always, if you can't do the touches and just stay in the long plank. Alrighty, maybe if you're just doing a long plank, long plank shoot for 15 to 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Okay, two times with that, everything I showed you, external rotation, again, it's probably around 12 to 15 reps on that, internal and external. Uh, same with the Y press, okay? Hope this helped out. Good luck with frozen shoulder. Make sure you work with your doctor and a PT. If you have PT and in your insurance, use it up as much as you can, okay? And you could also do a lot on your own. 
I know sometimes I say frozen shoulder can last a year to two years, but that's kind of up to you. All right, guys. Great seeing you. Good luck with all that. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And hit subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.